It's Eric Magidson again with Excel 2010 Basics. Today we're going to talk about hyperlinks. I do want to remind you that the basic functionality I'm going to be discussing here does apply to previous versions of Excel, such as Excel 2007. So let's go ahead and get started. Hyperlinks are a very useful tool that allow us to link to web pages where perhaps we're referencing information in our Excel spreadsheet or in a Word document, we could link a reference link to another sheet in a workbook. In this example, I have two sheets in my workbook, monthly figures and total figures, so I can link to another section. I can even link to another document. We're going to link to a Word document. And finally, we're going to link to a cell on this sheet. So let's go ahead and get started. To create a link in Microsoft Office, it's actually pretty easy, both in Word and in Excel. All I have to do is start by typing www let's in this case do google.com and hit enter and if you notice it automatically makes it a hyperlink my viewer of my Excel spreadsheet could come in and click on that link and it's gonna open up a browser and take them to the Google website so what about a link to another sheet in the workbook well we could come up to the insert tab and choose hyperlink from the ribbon and if you notice, we can link to an existing file or web page. So I could have done the previous link right in here. A place in this document. I could even create a new document or link to an email address. So let's go ahead and link to a place in this document. In this case, I want to go ahead and link to a different sheet. I'm going to link to the total figure sheet and it's going to place my active cursor in cell A1. Let's take a look. So here is a link to Total Figures A1, and if I click on it, here's Total Figures, and notice my uh, cursor, or my active cell, is A1. Let's go back to Monthly Figures. Now let's say I didn't want this to say Total Figures, but I wanted it to say something else. For example, let's create some basic navigation for this document. Now I don't have a previous sheet, but maybe I want to link to the next sheet. Now I'm going to type in next sheet first, right click, choose hyperlink, and if you notice that becomes the text to display. In this case, the next sheet is total figures, so a place in this document, and say OK. So notice here's total figures or next sheet. Now on the next sheet, I can come over here and say previous, previous sheet. Maybe I can spell previous right. Previous sheet. Again, right click versus coming up and choosing hyperlink. Both work. Place in this document, monthly figures, and say OK. Now finally, I might want to have a link to sheet 3, although I have nothing on there. I'm going to right click this time, a blank cell, go to hyperlink, place in this document, sheet 3 and instead of it going to sheet 3 I'm going to say next sheet so there we go I got a link to the next sheet of course I would continue that trend and a link to the previous sheet so let's link to another document in this case since we're talking about patients perhaps we want to reference a patient privacy policy so what I'm gonna do is right click hyperlink this time to an existing file. I would navigate to the file. In this case, it's right on my desktop, ABC Medical. Notice it's a Word document, and I'm going to say OK. Here is a link, and if you notice, it chose the file name. I choose Link, and it opens up the ABC Medical Patient Privacy Policy. Now again, if I want to edit a hyperlink, I can do that just by right clicking on an existing hyperlink. I can remove the hyperlink just keeping the name. I can edit the hyperlink. In this case, perhaps I want to take off the doc X and just have it say patient privacy policy. I'll say OK. And there's my new link. Linking to a cell on this sheet. So this time what I'm going to do is link to a separate cell somewhere on the sheet. And I'm going to pick a cell way down. This time I'll go to hyperlink here, a place in this document, monthly figures, 
and I'm going to type right here BBB123. So it is going to link to sell on this sheet, monthly figures, BBB123. I'm going to say OK. There it is. I'm going to click it. And if you notice, we're in cell BBB123. Hi there. Now I can come up here, type A1, and get back to cell A1 in my sheet. So we've created a link to a web page useful for things like references to other items on the web of which the content may not belong to you. We've created a link to another sheet, in this case total figures, or some basic navigation for those people that may not be real familiar with how to navigate through sheets in Excel. A hyperlink to another document, in this case a Word document. And finally, a link to a cell within this same sheet. So there's hyperlinks. I hope this helps. Have a great day.